All right, so today we have a project. We are going to be going from my Hummingbird 190 CDI to the Lowrance Hook 7 triple shot. Uh, the mount that I was going to use, so I have this that goes to the transducer mount off the side of the boat, which is what I have to go to now that the transducer is so big. But I don't want to use the Scotty mount that fixes it into one position. I want to use my Ram mount that I used to use on this Hummingbird, uh, but it doesn't fit on the bracket. So what I decided to do is I found this abstract little shelf here with black shelves. Take off the shelf. I have these little holes right here that I'm going to drill and I'm going to make a mount for this to go on there and give me a little dashboard. So I'll be back once I drill the holes. Okay, so holes drilled. Um, now when I did this, I checked to see there's this little indent right here where these will fit right inside of it. So it can still be flush. Uh, and give me more of a deck. I mean, I know that this is wood. It's probably not going to hold up, especially like in the sun and getting wet in Arizona, but it's free with the stuff that I have. And with a three month old baby taking precedent to our finances, free is always good. Uh, so now I will put this where I want it and figure it out. Mount this fish finder to my little dashboard and it has little holes on the side of it. And I've also seen people who drill holes in different places on their kayaks to hang their lures when they're done with them so they dry off. So I think I might drill some more over here, maybe a couple along the front. I don't really know what I'm doing with all the excess space on here, but it's not in my way and it'll hold this big fish finder. So that's what I'm gonna do. Be back in a second. mind how dirty my kayak is right now. We're getting an RV gate put in. So everything's kind of a mess right now, but I came out here before I did any more work on it to try to see if that was actually going to be in my way. And when I get into the kayak and put my feet, I mean, I don't really hit it at all. I don't know about hanging lures from it now that I'm looking at it, but that's not a big deal. I actually hang them from my cup holder down there or just throw them back into the box. So that's gonna work, I think. If not, I can go up to that ram mount. Just would be a little bit far for me to reach the electronics. Um, I used to hang my transducer off this ra uh, rail mount, but now I'm gonna put it way up here so that it's just completely out of the way. Cause that's one thing I really didn't like about the Scotty mount hangover transducer was that my unit was like right in my way. So like landing fish, hit it, stuff like that. But now I won't. And then now currently my transducer goes down into this transducer there's a whole mount under there. So like if you go over rocks or anything like that, it won't hit. But uh, if anybody knows the triple shot transducer is super long and doesn't fit in there. So I have to go back to the noisy side mount if I want to use the side scan and everything, which I do. So, yep, I'll be back in a minute. All right, peeps. So essentially this is how I'm going to have it set up. So I got that little board down there and my little dashboard uh, hang that right there much much bigger unit that is for sure uh, so I'm gonna run the Scotty mount side transducer mount I have it flipped backwards right now because I used to have it over on this rail right here now I'm gonna move it up to the front and over here uh, I used to also when I use this mount I used the fish finder mount right here right there and it was just in the way I hit and I told you guys that earlier in the video so I need to flip this around then that'll be done this is where I'm gonna run it maybe run it up at the very front of the rail uh, fish finder here power cord 
I'll just do the same thing I did before and just run it up in to the battery bag right there, uh, which hangs, keeps the battery out of the water. Super nice. Love the Predator. So I think that's it for now. I'll show you sitting in it. So if I'm standing up, have my feet back here, everything will be fine. And when I go, I have plenty of room. Maybe move that cord out of the way. But other than that, it's not bad. Not bad in a way bigger face. And I can reach the controls perfectly. Barely even have to lean forward. And like I said, if it's too close at any time, I can move it to that ram mount right there. So I think I'm gonna end it there. Next video I'll do is of my kayak completely set up, ready to go fishing. The wife and I, the wife's been begging me to take her out on the kayak since she's been pregnant this whole time. So we might do that Tuesday, Tuesday morning. All right, thanks guys.